Cool. All right. Okay, how are you today? I hope you have taken your lunch or late breakfast. Okay, we're going to have a writing activity today. Okay, very short one. The title is Writing a Short Story. Okay, can you respond to me so I know that you all can hear my voice clearly? I'm still here. Yes. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, I had some problem with my internet connection just now. Uh, but all is good now. All right. Uh, before we read the sample story, eh, I would like you to match the part of the story to what usually happens in it. Okay, remember this is a short story. So it must be short and precise and simple. So usually we have beginning, middle and ending. So which one is the beginning, middle and ending? Which one? Simple activity. What about the problem or difficulty is resolved? Which one is it? Ending. Resolve is diselesaikan. Okay, ditamatkan. Very good. Thank you, Nicholas. Okay, the characters and situation are introduced. Diperkenalkan. Okay, and the other one? A problem, masalah, or difficulty, still a conflict, okay, is introduced. So, for beginning, we can have the characters and situation are introduced. This is a very a vital important part in the in and a short story okay you must tell who are the characters and what kind of situation you are where is the setting in the classroom it at it at home or in the library anywhere okay so in the, in the middle you must have a what kind of problem or conflict you are going to introduce and last one uh, whether the the problem or the problem or difficulty is resolved, but I will say resolved in a way that it is settled. Sometimes a story, they don't have to be resolved. can just be hanging like that and it still give a quite, a quite, good, give quite a good impact to the readers, okay? All right, uh, this is a sample story. Can I have someone to read it for me? Any volunteers? Me. All right, please read the first paragraph on the Faisal. Thank you. Okay, it was it was Katya's twentieth birthday, and she was looking forward to seeing her friends. They were meeting at the Momos Mia's, her favorite Italian restaurant, for a special birthday dinner. Katya was excited and go to the restaurant at exactly seven o'clock, the time that they that they had arranged to meet. She looked around for a familiar face, but no one had arrived yet. So she decided to wait outside and stood patiently in the warm evening sunshine. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Faiza. Okay. As you can see in this short story, there are only three paragraphs. As I mentioned just now, we must have the beginning, middle and ending. So just a short story where there is a beginning, middle and ending. Look at the, uh, look at the beginning. So they introduce a character. The character is Katya. So she is 20 years old. Okay. And the setting is at a and uh, an Italian restaurant and another character is um, uh, friends because they say here she look around for a familiar face so she, so she is expecting someone uh, to celebrate her her birthday there okay um, it is also nice to include the the weather or maybe whatever any small details in the story so you don't have to write a very long details just one line like this is enough so she decided to wait outside and stood patiently in the warm evening sunshine all right next one um anisha are you here yes teacher all right read the second paragraph The restaurant quickly filled up with customers, but none of them were Katya's friends. Where are they? She thought. At half past seven, she was still waiting. 
so she called her best friend Ita. Why doesn't she answer her phone? Katya asked herself. Then she called Jonti, Alex and Yoko. But they didn't answer either. What's going on? She wondered. All right. Thank you, Anusha. Okay, this is a conflict. The conflict comes in there here. Katya's friends didn't show up. So she's being stood up by her friends. She is waiting alone in the restaurant. So just a very short conflict. You don't have to, uh, you don't need to have a complicated one. All right. All right, last one. Um, any volunteers? Nurin Alia, are you here? Nurin? Yes. All right. Can you read the last paragraph, Nurin? Thank you. At 8 o'clock, Katia went home. Her friends had forgot her birthday and she felt lonely and mis miserable. She opened, she opened the front door and walked into the dark house. The living room door was closed. Outstretched, she talked because she always left it open. Nervously, she opened the door. Nervously, she opened the door. Suddenly, the light went on and all her friends jumped up the shouted. Surprise. So they had not forgot and in the end, it was the best birthday ever. All right. Thank you, Noreen Alia. Okay. Uh, at 8 o'clock, okay, this is the ending. So first... This is the beginning and then the conflict and then the ending uh, when she thought that she is being stood up. She was stood up by her friends. Actually, her friends are waiting at her home trying to give a surprise birthday party for her. So at the end, they hadn't forgotten and it was the best birthday ever. A very short story like this but you can get every details here. Very short but still very uh, interesting because they have uh, simple details here. I will show you the details. Eh? Okay, when you write a story, use the past simple, past continuous and the past perfect. Definitely, you have to use past tense. Okay, look at the, the green color here. So, they, there are green color here. They were meeting, means they are going to meet at Mama's Mia. So, here is past continuous they had arranged they dah janji so they dah plan so they had arranged this is past perfect she decided to wait outside okay this is past simple and lastly so they hadn't forgotten past perfect had not forgotten okay next one adjectives and adverbs adverbs okay Adjectives, special, special birthday dinner. Okay, as adjective is classified. Patiently, dengan sabarnya. Dia, yeah? alright. Stood patiently. Describe this word here. She is standing patiently, waiting patiently. Alright, next. Direct speech with reporting verbs and punctuation. Direct speech, straight to the point. Okay, I mean like. Okay, I'll, you, you see the example of this. With reporting verbs and punctuation. Okay, you can include dialogues in your story. Definitely, yes, it will make your story more interesting. If you can, just put a dialogue. But make sure you use the correct punctuation. Why, where are they, she thought. Okay, why doesn't she answer her phone? Katya asked herself, okay. You can put this kind of thing. This is what we call a monologue. Monologue is like talking to oneself. What's going on? She wondered. How strange she thought. Okay. You, you put dialogue. And then what is this? She thought. She asked herself. She wondered. All right. Next one. This course markers is um, link that link your ideas from one to another. Then after that. Or in the end, as you can see here, um, we have then, you can use after that, we have here in the end, okay, or you can use first, all that words that link your idea and it makes your idea more 
makes your story more organized and easy to understand. Okay? All right. Um, now choose the best title for the story. What do you think is the best title for the story? Anyone? I'm I'm not alone here, right? Yeah. The surprise. <laughs> okay. I'm so scared that I'm talking alone because of the internet connection. All right, so uh, the surprise. The surprise says when you write a story, you don't need to have a very long um very long title as long as it's simple and precise. Okay. All right. Uh, try to answer this first. Are the sentences true or false? Katia didn't want to celebrate her birthday. Oh, I already gave you the answers. <laughs> okay. Just go to the point. I forgot to put the animation. So we already have the answers here. <laughs> Katia didn't want to celebrate her birthday. So it falls because she, uh, she is actually waiting forward to meet her friends that means they already planned that okay so it's false uh, let me put the text i'm sorry e... it's easier this way all right uh katia was the first person to arrive at the italian restaurant it's true because she is waiting for her friend here so patiently um next one waited outside the restaurant for 30 minutes is false how long did she wait did she wait outside or inside the restaurant why is it false katia waited outside the outside. restaurant okay she wait outside but is it 30 minutes Yes. Um, she's been waiting from 7 o'clock until? 7.30. No. Until? Here. One hour. Ah, 8 o'clock. Okay, so it's false because she's been waiting for one hour. Jonti is Katya's closest friend. Is it Jonti the only one? Not, not, she's not the only one, eh? Um. Who is her best friend actually? Closest friend yang paling rapat. So among the many names here, which one is the closest friend? Look at the second paragraph. Isa. Very good, Isa. So she called her best friend Isa. When she didn't get through Isa, then she called the other friend. So she called the, the first best friend first. Katya went home after waiting for her friends for an hour. Okay, uh, yes, she went home after that. And at the end, Katya's friends hadn't forgotten her birthday. They had a surprise birthday celebration at home. Okay, this one I have not uh, given you the answers yet. Thank God. All right, so you match the sentences from the story to the correct part of the story. So they hadn't forgotten and in the end, it was the best birthday ever. Suddenly, the lights went on and all her friends jumped up and shouted surprise. They were meeting at Mama Mia's, her favorite Italian restaurant for a special birthday dinner. Then she called John T, Alex and Yoko, but they didn't answer either. What's going on? She said to herself, I give you... About one minute to choose which one is the beginning, middle, ending, and the final line now. All right, find the answers. Um, the blue one is for the beginning. Okay, the blue one for the beginning. Um... Gracie, are you here, Gracie? Haven't heard from you for a very long time. Oh, sorry. Okay, Gracie, are you here? Mm, no. Intan Shazwani? I hope I'm not alone. I think
Atif. Atif Haikal. Why are you all so quiet? Huh? Second, the second paragraph is the pink color box. Thank you, Sasa. The second paragraph. Then she call here. Okay. I just want to hear your voices. Don't be so shy. All right. Next one. Other people, please. There are so many of you here and I don't give too, too difficult questions here. Fadila. Fadila, can you answer me? Can. All right. So just now. <laughs> right. So mm, we have beginning. We have, we have middle. What about the ending? Ending. Suddenly the lights went on and all her friends jumped up and shot. Surprise. Okay. Thank you, Fadila. Let's see if you all get it correct. Okay. Thank you, Faisal. The first one, they were meeting here. And Sasa said here, this one, the pink box. Thank you. And Fadila also gave a correct answer and the final line so they hadn't, for hadn't forgotten. And in the end, it was the best birthday ever. Okay, so after this, you have to write a story. I would like to see the three things here, beginning, middle and ending. It shouldn't be a long story, just a short one. But the title is not a birthday, okay? Oh, before that, you have to categorize adjectives and adverbs. All right, adjective. It's a word that describes a noun or pronoun. It's a courtesy fight. You, you learn this in Bahasa Melayu. Like if you say, uh, gadis itu cantik. So in English, a beautiful girl, the position is at the front. Position of adjective dekat depan. Eh? And adverb, a word that describes or gives more information about a verb, adjective, adverb or phrase. For example, if I say, I walk, I put adverb. I walk quickly. Okay, I walk but then I add the word quickly to show that, okay, I walk very quickly. So you can imagine how I walk. Okay, we have nervously, happily, patiently, strange, fantastic, exciting, quickly, quietly, freezing, beku, awful, means it's very bad, sadly, unexpectedly, Unexpected means uh, tak dijangka. Enjoyable, slowly and huge. As you can see in all these 16 words, it's very easy to detect adverbs because most adverbs, they have this word, L-Y here, happily. Like if we, if I translate this in Malay, uh, Li here is like dengan, dengan, Laju, quickly, quietly. She moves quietly, dengan senyap. Okay? Sadly. So, the other words without the word li, strange, pelik, weird, fantastic is obviously the, ad, uh, the adjectives. Okay? So, the adjectives are without the, that words. So, if you want to use the word strange, I saw a strange boy. Okay? I saw a strange boy. Uh, the, the house looks very fantastic. Okay, remember adjectives can also be put at the end without the noun. But if you have the noun, you put it before. Exciting. The trip was so exciting. Okay, uh, it, it was an exciting movie. Freezing, awful, unexpected, enjoyable. She is an enjoyable uh, person. Huge, very big, a huge car. All right, and adverbs without, uh, sorry, with the, the, the fix of Lee here, nervously, happily, patiently. So in front here, the pandia, you must put something. She speaks nervously. Okay, they bercakap dengan nervous, happily. Okay, unexpectedly and slowly. All right. <clears throat> now this is your task. You need to write a short story 
about an embarrassing moment of your life. I actually want to, you to write about birthday party, but it seems like the same with our sample just now. So, um, uh, so you are going to write a short story about an embarrassing moment of your life. It can be anything as long as it is embarrassing. I'll give you an example. Can we have other people to read this? But you have to step from here. Everyone has been here. Anyone? Anybody wants to volunteer? Sharil? Who's that? Okay, Gabriel. Embrace at one time or another. It is a bad moment Gabriel, in time. Gabriel, uh, it starts from here. Everyone has been. I'm sorry for the intention here. Everyone has been. Everyone has been embraced at one time or another. It is at that moment in time when you wish the earth would open up and swallow you. The anxiety and discomfort felt during that time, which may only last a few seconds, feel like time has stood still. Okay, continue. I remember so well when I had my most embarrassing moment. I was in Form 4 and it was during the school recess. The minute the bell rang for recess, I rushed to the toilet because I had been controlling my urges since class started. I didn't want to miss class because the lesson taught that morning was include tips for the forthcoming examination. All right, thank you, Gabriel. Oh, okay, okay, you stop first. All right, um, so this is the beginning actually. This one is just an introduction about the topic. Like how uh, the feeling of being embarrassed, okay, malu. Okay, embarrassed means memalukan. So this is the setting. The character is you. You are the character. But you have to give more information. Like here, you say, I was in Form 4. Where was it? Is it uh, when was it? It was during the school recess. And then what happened? Rush to the toilet because I had been controlling my urges since class started. Okay, dia dah tak tahan nak buang air. Okay, why, why, why you didn't go early? Because... You didn't, you didn't want to miss class. The recent talk that morning was to include tips for the forthcoming examination. All right, Sharil. Thank you, uh, Gabriel. Yeah, you go. Okay. We are, we, are, we are realizing I had rushed to the girls' toilet. The prolonged control and an upset. Stomach met worse by two glasses of cold meat. In the morning, met me grin and grin in what I thought. In what I thought was the privacy of the cu cu cubicle. Cubicle. I, I thought I heard giggling outside and wondered why the giggles sounded unusually near. A few minutes later, I came out the cubicle and discovered my horror that I had entered the girl's toilet. To make matters worse, matters. The, few, matters worse the few girls standing outside didn't even turn away when I came out. Instead, they looked down at me. Then only they turned quickly away. Horror of horrors. I had forgotten to zip up. No, no bit wood could have matched the color of my face or at this point in time. All right. Thank you so much, Shari. So I hope you get uh, the, the embarrassing moment of this. He had a stomach ache and then he rushed to the girl's toilet. Okay. We should go to the boy's toilet. Okay, it is because she is, uh, uh, sorry, he is too disturbed with the upset stomach. Okay, and then you add the details here. Two glasses of cold milk. Uh, I heard, gig I thought I heard giggling outside. And one that giggle, giggle is like the, uh, you know, giggles, right? Giggling. It's yeah. a laugh, uh, but it's like all the girls giggle usually not boys i don't think boys giggle okay yeah maybe in certain situation but mostly girls okay uh giggles are usually used to describe how girls laugh so he is in the girl's toilet actually and when he 
came out of the cubicle. Cubicle is a small toilet inside the big toilet. Eh? Right. Uh, the few girls uh, found out there's a boy inside the toilet. And then uh, he realized that at the end, he had forgotten to zip up. Okay, so this is the most embarrassing moment for him. No beetroot. Beetroot is the type of vegetable, the, uh, the, the red color. Could have matched the color of my face at this point in time. Why he said beetroot? Because at that time, he, is so, he was so embarrassed that um, her face turned into red. Okay, very, very embarrassing. That is one of the examples of an embarrassing moment of your life okay you can write about anything that you feel embarrassed uh, embarrassing do you have any embarrassing moment in your life honestly speaking we all do right yes or no can you write this can you write about this you don't have to make it long just three paragraphs Okay, but I would like you to write it uh, based on your own experience. Okay, where to write? Okay, uh, this is the link. I'll give you the link and uh, right now in the chat room. You have to write in the, uh, because this is an essay. Eh? Uh, it's easier if I can have this in Google form. So look at the Google form. Click on the Google form right now. Click on the Google form. Okay. Can you click on it? Is the, the link working? Okay. okay. Is the link working? Yes. Eh? So uh, you just go to the link and write down your name and class. Just write your short story here. Very short story. Just three paragraph with beginning, middle and ending. Okay, that's it. That will be your work for today. Okay, I'm going to wait for your answers until our next class on Wednesday. Since we have public holiday tomorrow, we are, we are going to have public holiday tomorrow. So wait. we will not have uh, class. So tomorrow don't have class. Yes, tomorrow is public holiday, right? So we really? don't have. Yes, it is. Oh, I see. Why you make me doubt myself? I think it's public holiday. <laughs> I think it's public holiday. Uh, I but never heard of tomorrow being a public holiday. Uh, yeah, 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 I think it's public holiday tomorrow. It's, there's no class. I hope I give you the wrong, uh, the correct information. Eh? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, we will postpone the class to Wednesday. I don't usually do class on Wednesday, but I will do it this Wednesday because we cannot do class tomorrow. So make sure you finish this short story uh, at least before uh, Wednesday. Teacher, would we need to write about embarrassing story only or we can write about a happy story? The title is Embarrassing Story. You can write a happy story. Uh, you can write a happy ending. So don't worry about that. Anisha, you can write a happy ending to it. It could be embarrassing, but at the end, it is a happy thing for you. It can be both. That's how you can write a story. It's up to you. Okay, any other you sure oh, tomorrow? Man. You sure tomorrow got the holiday? Oh, no. I think yes. If I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow is our, um, what do we call it? Kind of fast. Uh, is Islamic New Year Awal Muharram? Yes. Ah, uh, the yes, yes. is Islamic New Year Awal Muharram tomorrow. Oh. Ah. So <laughs> if yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> Gabriel, why you make me doubt myself? <laughs> I hope I don't give you wrong information. It's teacher for being sus. <laughs> <laughs> it is all Muharram tomorrow. It is public holiday. So no class tomorrow. I want to be confident of myself. Okay. <laughs> so you make sure you finish out this story before Wednesday. I will do class on Wednesday. Any other question about the story? Make sure it is an embarrassing story. Something yang memalukan. I know we all have that moment in our life. Alright. Any other questions? No? 
to know. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you all have fill in your attendance and bye bye. See you. Next class. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, well, you, do the, you do the Google form, eh? You do the essay in the Google form. If you want to be confident, you can write it somewhere else first. Tulis dekat kertas dulu. And then you just write, uh, type again in the Google form. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Gabriel, just write it. We all have our embarrassing moment. <laughs> Sometimes sure, moments. More than one. You just choose one less embarrassing for you if you don't want to write the most embarrassing one. Bye, okay. bye, bye.